Ferris wheel. Everyone loves a good Ferris wheel. Oh man, that thing's giant! They weren't lying. Now, a thing about elevation is that a lot of things cost more if you build them higher, like roading. I remember. Might not be true anymore, but it, it's the way I remember things. Is this really gonna work out? Because I really like Ferris wheels. I really do. There's also a maximum height. Oh, look, it actually tells you in the bot in the here over here what you can do. You do not own all the land for the selected. Um, the reason that you can build high is because you can actually buy two kinds of things. Let's see, where can I show that? Park operations. You can buy land, but you can also buy an easement right. An easement right is basically you can build over the land, but you can't build on it. So you have to have a certain elevation between the floor and whatever you're building. Easement rights are pretty fucking cool. And I do think there is a level in the original Roller Coaster Tycoon where you get to deal with easement rights. Because there's two pieces of land, the only way thing connecting them is easement rights. I think that was a massive interstate intersection, and it was a really cool level. But again, I don't like the older ones, because all of the older ones were really fucking dumb with how they handled shit. What the hell is this? Import track designs. I really don't have anything. I could do a Nocturne while I was... This could work. If I handle my cards right, I could make this work, yeah. It would require a bit of redesign, and definitely would require me to... Okay, so I can I can fit it on there. That's good enough to hear. But I don't own the park rights. I can't... Can I? Can, I can build there, but there's a tree in the way. I don't want to build over there. So as you can see, it costs significantly more to build a piece of... Uh, a piece for... Look, it's 42. It's a lot of money. It's a whole bunch of money. The f oh, that is the underwater tile. Did that just say, CRAZY PAVING? Man, that paving's cray-cray. So you can build downward, and unlike the previous roller coaster tycoons, you can actually build at a slope. And in order to change the uh, slope you're making, you just have to click and hold. Originally, you had this incredibly complex UI system that permitted you to do things. So this ought to drag a few more eyes this way. Hopefully spread out my guest density a bit. Because people are way too much in that one side of town. What's my park value? Reese's Peanut Butter Cups! <laughs> By the way, it will actually speed things up if you do that. So! I forgot to check my messages! I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> No, the balloon. I'm not letting that balloon escape. Yes, I win, balloon. Ugh. Man, you should get some tighter shorts. Cause those things are like parachute pants. Those ain't fashionable. That's a fancy maintenance ladder. To keep track of details like that is amazing. Whoa! Whoa! I didn't do that. Oh man, that's... Oh, that's spooky. That's awesome. I've never been on anything like that, by the way. Okay, let's check my park value, because I do want to finish off this episode. Yeah, I'm getting up there, but I need something big, something spectacular, something that'll drag all the Ijamins. I need a roller coaster, because that's what this game's all about. I've been talking about this, but I need a roller coaster, a big one, a fat one. One that makes people go, oh, Damn, Skippy! 
What would be a good one? A splitting coaster? That seems really expensive to construct. I need a cheap one. Uh, a junior coaster. Oh, no, I, that one was locked, right? Yeah, that one was locked because fuck me. A compact inverted coaster. Intersections, extended coaster. The most flexible coasters. No, I don't want to build a custom one. I want to build a design. I don't have the inspiration to build anything custom right now. Inversion therapy. How big is this? It's really expensive, and I don't have the money for it. But I do want to see how big this is. Well, how big? Damn, that's pretty fucking big. See how the price goes up and down and up and down as I do that. I just sold something. And the horse. Oh man, it's clowns! This place is creepy as fuck! I think clowns are creepy. Clowns are people too. But I need a roller coaster. Uh, crazy dropper. If I remember, these rides are exceptionally flat. This one's nice and cheap. And it's not that wide, so I could easily smash it in somewhere. But wait, I need to look at the statistics. Because the fun part about building a roller coaster preemptive oh it actually stops time when you do that. Okay, that's cool. Uh, it actually tells you sort of what you're going to expect. Now this is not what you're going to get because the environment can dramatically change how exciting something is. Oh, this one's nice and exciting, and it's not too nauseating. I could build one I could build this. Let's see, this is fourteen. How much is that? That's five thousand big ones. That's a big ass investment to ask on a on a short term notice, but if I can build over here, I can get this part, piece of the park nice and on the map. Let's get him on the map by getting my special coaster a little bit of advertisement. So everyone knows the latest attraction in town. Parental magazine. Put the greeny meanies on the map. Oh! People want to see the greeny meanies. Man, it is storming outside. And they said it was going to be hot, hot, hot. It's really good value, people. I always got too high intensity with my with ever I built a roller coaster. I didn't get how you were to decrease intensity. I never figured that it was like, oh dear god. I always had like insane g-forces. So that's a pretty cool ride. People still think it's really good value? It's really good value. Chain lift's already on maximum.
you. This place is gonna make all the profits. Ah, uh, look at my little ants. How much profit has this big old thing been churning in? Oh man, that thing's been making all my profit. Yay, we're getting another horsey, after which I'll probably have to s Oh, wait, what? We got two pre- I missed a pregnancy? What the fuck? When did that happen? Since when do I have a 3D cinema? I like 3D cinemas. I don't know, I always thought they looked cool. Oh, two are pregnant, so I'm really getting the pregnamins in here. Trust me about one thing, you don't want to get too many pregnamins because that stuff's gonna explode! Well, you could go see the lines, or you could go at the cinema that's like directly above it. <laughs> like literally, directly above it. Wrong. Wrong. Put, get that out of there. No. I remember when I used to make my lines exceptionally long for no particular reason. I still don't know why I did that. What's the movie? At some you could set up the movie. I wanna see the greedy minis. running a profit. I should lower the cost so people go over here more. You shouldn't always like go to the really good value tip of the iceberg. Still really good value here. Pay 10 cents more, you fuck. What's wrong? It's not reliable enough? Obviously, there's something wrong. Let me just lower the price for 10 cents, so people think it's better. Ah, how much is my park worth? I need to get that fucking prize and get out of here. I'm more important than this place. Still really good value, that's good. Again, I got some money from somewhere. I think I've been neglecting my employees a little bit, let's see. Ah, uh, what's wrong? Nah, I guess it would be nice if you had just a little bit more Waiting time. I like she slipped and fell. Board, 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 board. Holy shit, I'm bored. Uh, here is another three dollars. Now shut the fuck up and go to work. I'm gonna get rid of some horses because you guys are really being run rag by this. Let's see. Hector the horse. Oh, I like the name Hector! Head of the horse, you can fuck off. 
Requires small herbivores. Show sure requirements. Twelve. Hunger, thirst. It's okay. Next one. Haley. I think we had Haley from the beginning. We also had Hannah Savannah. But I like Hector. Who's that? Hugo Horse Jr. Who the fuck's Hugo? Hugo. We can't have two Hugos. You're out of here. Get the fuck out of my park. I like how my toilets are running a profit. <laughs> that just shows what a good businessman I am. The dinosaur go round one! No! I hope my custom stall with rotating billboard one is also in good working order. Because that place is the place to be. Look at that, it's running like two times, at least not three times the profit of this shabby old shack. But because who doesn't want to go to custom stall with rotating billboard one? You know you. That is the exact... Is that like something they do on every one of them? Because that's the exact design. I Wow. I never thought to think about it, but it's probably true. Every attraction is made at the exact same factory. Also, the tires vanish after a bit. And they're actually local, so they're not like the entire attraction gets their tires. No, it's just sections. The Cheshire Cats, or the Hershey Kissing Tower. What the fuck is a kissing tower? I guess if I can't get myself a sweet-ass Ferris wheel, at least I can get a Hershey Kissing Tower. <coughs> oh, this is a little bit like the UI you used to have when you built, like, just walkways. So making this the highest place. I cannot put- why can't I not put another track piece there? I want to put another motherfucking trash piece there. Make it go faster. Girls like spice. Is this like vertical speed or is this like upward speed? Yeah! We won! We did it! We did it! Yeah! Yes, we did it! We did it! Dun 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 we built a roller coaster park and we did it real good. And that's really it. There's no there's no need to sing the rest of the song because what the fuck are you people doing? The fuck is wrong with these people? Why are you entering my park? Whatever. We've won. We've won. So let's get the fuck out of here. Probably shouldn't have named the little lat. Let's see. Gold Rush! Now's your chance to hit the pay dirt by using this a bit unstable a bit. That reminds me of Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 second mission, I think. Um, Ben Maz to showcase low rise coasters over time in your Christmas history. Let's give it a start. Let's give her a go! E, laddie, E. I'm not gonna do much, I'm just gonna scout out the area. Yeah, and it actually takes this long to load, despite the fact that my computer's really fucking fast. This thing is like taking hours. So how's the day been? You had a good time? You need some nice people? I have a nice horoscope. 
You should always have. If you have a bad horoscope, you might as well kill yourself. Your life's done. Minimal excitement, three, two coasters. Minimum length, 305, two coasters. Total monthly income, 300. This condition can be achieved at any time. Oh man, this is fucking cool. There's a guy out here constantly making fire. Or that's a robot. I don't know. And there's a horse with shit. Can I see this? Oh, those are flies or swaths of ink. Why is there ink flying behind your butt? We got a saloon, and we got a fake store. There's another horsey, but this one doesn't have any flies flying. So, okay, I need to repay the loan? What's my loan? Ho! Oh! That was easy. Why did I even have that loan? 10.9%? Oh, fuck, that's a lot of cash. Minimum excitement, four, three coasters, minimum length, oh, damn. Damn. Chemist? Since... Why the fuck would there be... What kind of town is a chemist shop? Let's see, what can I buy? Is there any land I can buy? Okay, so there's a whole metric fuck ton of land I can buy. Can I buy any easement rights? No. I think this is the first level we get to buy shit. Can I set up and no, I can't send set up an entry fee. And I think going with the theme would be the smart idea. People like a good bit of theming. Apparently there's an asshole over here just shooting at plants. What do you have against that prickly bush? Prickly bush didn't do shit. Um you got a house here that's standing on two poles. That's a nice jail house. Oh damn. I'll keep my eye open for those guys. They're gonna drown. They're gonna drown to the ground. Can I make water? Oh, I can fill with water. Waterfalls. I remember waterfalls being a dick to manage. Um, don't get too fooled by these fences because uh, apparently the fences they picked for the environment are the exact same as the fences picked for the surrounding park. To the point that it actually extends beyond it at that point, which is kind of dumb. Um, let's see, we already have a coaster. What's the excitement on this coaster? What are the track records? It's not even open yet. <clears throat> well, there's one coaster. It needs to go faster. Yeah, I already have one. That's that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Why is everything closed? Ah, oh, sorry. Open. I can't get an entry fee. Uh, <clears throat> Root beer. There's a park inspector. I think the park inspector is mostly there to sort of, you know, inspect your park. Let's get rid of research. I don't really want that. Water rides. I'm mostly looking for roller coasters. Um, don't really care about transport rides. Don't care about other rides and attractions. Soft skills are cool. Maybe some scenery. Not much pass. I don't want show elements or pool rides and slides. Or water attractions. Oh, you can do that. I forgot that. That's for easy access. Let's see. Let's see. All the attractions are open. Yep. So I need to set this up for next time. Hmm. Start by doing my typical course of action and setting up a good old bit of stands. Every single fucking place does this. They all have those stands, like, right at the beginning. And then they have a few scattered throughout, but mostly they focus it on this one area. First aid can also be over here. Um, ATM. 
ATM. Well, people just spent all their money on shit, so I might as well put the ATM over here. Oh, you can make ducks explode. I forgot you could do that. If you clicked them in the original Roller Coaster Tycoon, they just went quack. Oh, they just go bold. Yeah, they just go bold. I thought they exploded. That's that's an amazingly nice feather, by the way. Even for just a hovering texture, that's way more effort than they should have put in. So there, we have a bit few shops set up. So those are just going to hover around there for until the end of times. Until I testify my love to you. That's great. Do I? Ah, well, you know what? Uh, I don't have any... Uh, I need to get a janitor out here. Um, I'm immediately going to train you just to make sure that you're actually able to do your job proper. We're going to plop down yonder mechanic. And he's going to be master mechanic. Master mechanic. You know what I do at work? I'm not mechanic one, I'm not mechanic two. I'm master mechanic. Gets fucking laid. I think that should be enough for time being. Alright, security person. That's really what they call them, security person. Yeah, this is going to be a nice park to work with, because theming makes it a lot more attractive. It, I don't know what theming really does, other than get you occasional rewards, but we'll see. I like how the places you can build are nice and flat. Like, the connection here is clearly established, this connection is clearly established. I can purchase all of this, it's all nice and flat. There's just a little bit of green in the way. I like it. I am eager to work with this park. So this is going to be... Episode 3! See you guys next time.